Okay, I'm just doing a little video. Uh, show what I've done on the monster bike. And I'll start off with uh, how I've wired up the horn off one of the 6S packs. Um, just so in here, I've got uh, positive, negative, positive, negative, positive, negative, positive, negative. And I've just tapped off positive off there. So this wire goes to the horn. Um, it's got two wires in it here, negative for the negative, and then I've just soldered a fuse, like a uh, 240 volt, 15 amp fuse. I've just soldered the wires to either side of that, covered that in uh, heat shrink. I think it's double wall with glue heat shrink. And then I've just shrunk the ends, and not really worried about the middle. Um, because yeah, if it blows, it's not vital, but it's a good safety feature. Um, um yeah, so that just goes up here to the horn. Um, I've got a bit of bare wire there, and then that just goes over to the button here. So I've got my 24 volt. Uh, it's like a light truck horn, I guess. Yeah. Mounted to the um, steer tube spacer. Just welded a little nut there and it screws into that. Um, I've got my three speed switch up here hooked into. Oh, well, yeah, I actually don't have one hooked up, but I've got the iron low beam with the light hooked up. Um, yeah, so with the light, I've got the uh, eight, three, what? LEDs with different reflectors. I've got um, I think 45 degree reflectors on the bottom and 10 degree up the top. Uh, yeah, so that runs back to this plug pack that I've wired in the old crappy lamp switch. Um, the plug pack puts out 12 volts. I think it was a variable one, but I switched it to 12. Um, and so, yeah, I've just got 100 volts or whatever pack voltage straight into the 240 volt pins on that and that gives that 12 volts um, and yeah I painted the old HT3525 gloss black that's come up pretty good I reckon and I've chipped a bit of paint off I'm trying to put the bloody thing back together I was giving it a bit of a tap with a uh, block of wood or something and yeah torque arms going alright um, and yeah, my new wheel spokes, new Alex DX32, 39mm wide rim, it's kind of like a squarish shape, and the Holmes Hobbies 12 gauge stainless steel black spokes with the uh, silver brass nipples. That was actually a lot easier to build than I thought, so pleased with that for my first wheel build. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Replaced the seat post and got a nice clamping style uh, seat clamp, I guess, in there, whatever. So that doesn't pivot around when I slam into it. And you rear light. It's not that bright, but it's alright. Dodgy battery, I think. Yeah. Um, yeah, so here's the horn. <coughs> cool. See ya.